Today we're making a very moist apple bread with a nice cinnamon pecan crunch on top. This is a quick and easy recipe, so grab your favorite apples and let's get started. To a bowl, we need two eggs, three fourths cup of sugar, one third of a cup of vegetable oil, and two tablespoons of applesauce. We're gonna whisk this together real quick. I will have an ingredients list towards the end of this video, so no need to write anything down. It'll also be posted in the description box below. Next goes in the dry ingredients. We need one and three fourths cup of all purpose flour, two and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, yes, two and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg, and mix. <laughs> I had to switch to a spatula as the batter is very thick. You might be tempted to thin out this batter, but you must resist. <laughs> we want it to hold our apple pieces throughout the bread. We don't want them sinking to the bottom. Next, we need one cup of chopped pecans. I'm using this handy dandy nut chopper. If you don't have one of these, a simple knife chop will do. This nut chopper has two settings, finely or coarse. We're going with coarse. This looks about right. And here's where I goofed up. I added in the whole thing, whereas the recipe says to only add in half and to reserve the rest for the topping. Whoops. <laughs> oh well, it's not a big deal. I can handle a few more nuts in my bread. <laughs> Set that off to the side. We're gonna work on our apples. We need two cups of chopped apples, preferably Granny Smith or Fuji, but shoot, all I have are these Envy apples. <laughs> I bought them because they were pretty and I didn't notice the name until I peeled the sticker off before washing them. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> so that's two cups of peeled and chopped apples added to the bowl. Grab that spatula and mix everything together. We're gonna need a 9 by 5 inch baking dish. You don't have to line it with parchment paper, but I find it's easier to remove if you do. We're gonna spray the sides with nonstick cooking spray just to be safe. Add in all of the batter and evenly spread it out as best you can. Set that off to the side, let's make the topping. Here's that other half of coarsely chopped pecans. We're gonna add in one tablespoon of sugar and one fourth of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Give that a quick shake. It should look something like this. Sprinkle your topping onto your batter in a nice even coat. Into the oven at 350 degrees for 55 to 60 minutes. To keep this topping from getting soft, we're gonna remove it from the pan as soon as it comes out of the oven. That way, all of the heat can escape from the sides and not just the top. We're gonna let our apple bread cool before we slice into it. I waited about 15 minutes before I couldn't take it any longer. I have mixed feelings about this recipe. I'm personally not a big fan. And to help me better understand what I might have been feeling, my husband said it kind of falls into the same category as banana bread in the sense that you either love it or you hate it. Kind of like carrot cake, you either do or you don't. So it is a good recipe, it's just not my thing. My mom did say she really liked it, so there's that. And she did go in for a couple more slices. Here's that ingredients list. Thanks for watching and if you like this video be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out and I'll see you all in the next video.